don't know why that's in my head. What the fuck is that? Well, he asked what hope feels like, and I feel like white people, that's just, that's like the background music to being white and having hope. Yeah, they, they don't know that. I asked, uh, I asked Chris what he thought it must feel like to have hope. That song. That no, so, yeah, it's happy or not, not uh, happy, uh, without uh, a roof, because uh, uh, I'm happy. Uh, 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 no, I never understood still, that lyric. Though. No, they're less, they're <laughs> less rhythmic, so it would be more, mm. more Gregorian kind of one note. Uh, yeah, they keep clapping on the ones and so Catholic Church? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. That's, that's crash test dummies. That's weird. Mm. Yeah. White people love that. See? They love crash that's test dummies? Yeah. No, the, the band crash test in the 90s. Uh, why would I know Dumb that? baby. Oh, damn. Why would, you were born in the 90s. I turned Angelica too. Pickles. <laughs> yeah. like, Dumb I was, baby. <laughs> I was also born in the 90s. Anyway, uh, <laughs> keep this train rolling. I was 1999. I was born in 21. And I just look poorly because of drugs. That's, <laughs> a lot. That's the only reason I look like this. Sorry. <laughs> Feel bad for me and send me money. <laughs> I just his hair is still up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has done nothing about it. They were like, take that off. You look stupid. And I was like, okay. And then just sat down and started. <laughs> I was like, record this for do you, America. Do you want to hear my song? To, Your song I want to hear week? it. Go ahead. To open this. Uh, I didn't think about it until just now. Okay. So you ready? <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna be good. Me neither. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Me thinks it's gonna be bad. Hmm. Big old booties. I like them all day. Big booties, not gay. Bow. <laughs> <laughs> That was an original. I yeah. like that. It got me into the jam. You saw that? I was you, don't, like, you don't fuck oh. with that? Big old booties. Oh, not that the bold day. Bootay. That sounds just like a, a rip of Montel Jordan. It is. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we do it. Big old booties. This is how we do it. We be had big booties. Welcome to the I Can Explain That podcast, the only podcast where we go through each other's search histories just to see how fucked up we are as people. And I, one of your hosts, I'm Chris Baysmore, a.k.a. Ball Spot Poppy, a.k.a. Vicky Smalls, a.k.a. Could be your baby father, but can't afford to be, a.k.a. The funny one, a.k.a. The cute one. Jesus. And to my... I'm, right. I'm Chris Ryder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I said I was the cute one and funny one a while ago and it upset you. <laughs> and so now he takes them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. I thought I was the cute one, you know what I mean, of the group. You know, people look at me and they go, I would fuck that troll. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that adult man makes me uncomfortable. Answer his riddles three. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> All right. Why are you hanging pee-pee. around the high school? <laughs> <laughs> that, one, that one took me a second. Yeah. Why don't you introduce? In between us, I love comedian, Hello. our man's 50 grand, Daniel Parafan. Oh, that rhyme. Ah, that rhyme. That was oh, good. Yeah. Guys, thank you. You Chris. only do that once. Do you have a year? dollar to give him or something? Just no. Was really good. It wasn't better than my, my song. So No, I, it was a little better. It Ooh. rhymed because your name was in it. That's, uh, wow. Okay, hold on. All right. Daniel feel, Parafan. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so torn now. Oh. Actually, that kind of flowed. Like the, oh, my God. Boys are talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you are the cute one. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Now, when I was in rehab, <laughs> brought it all the way down. Uh, now, uh, now uh, <laughs> the reason I started with that is because uh, I, I, I deep dive something, okay. la- ladies and gentlemen, or mostly. I don't know how you guys identify. Um, cool. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> As you, oh, you took it out. Oh, uh, there's nothing on. I got nervous. Cause you, <laughs> you know. I was like, if I just sneakily take it off, no one will notice. <laughs> um, anywho, I <laughs> started that way because I went on a deep dive to look up. It was about booties, right? No. The song was? Yes. Okay. But I wanted to know what was attractive. Oh, boy. What do us men find attractive? Oh, do you Ooh. mean on the bodies? Scientifically, yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Are you talking about... or? Uh, are you talking about the sex organs or are you talking about someone's physical features? 
all of the above. Uh, okay, all right. And I, I did some... Uh, Interesting. I've had many a debate in this arena. I. What do you think it is before I For get For men into in it? general? Yeah. Boobs. No, I mean, some men love butts. Some people love right. butts. Right. You got butt people. The, well, that's... I mean, look. I would think the majority of men would lean boob. I think mm. butts is new. New fad, but okay. if you include our, our fathers and forefathers. I enjoy the f- vagina. <laughs> the vajage. A woman's the heart f- is what I'm going for. <laughs> ah, oh, there it is. Was. Her personality. I love it. I hate that I'm straight. Ding. I'd be such a great gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad about it, bro. I'm fucking amazingly gay, <laughs> but straight like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, you would kill uh, if you were a gay man. Oh, bro, I'd be fucking crushing dick yeah. all over town, yeah. bro. What do you think is attractive from the man then? Oh, fuck. Fuck, uh, he definitely has to make a lot of money. Is that weird? That's weird to say, but it's like I even me you when went I went straight women, for it. Yeah, uh, like I, I in my head I'm like I have to make more money than you, and it's not like an insecurity thing, but it's in my head of like it has to be like if you make a hundred thousand, I have to make like two fifty. It can't just be like one twenty five or one one something petty. I mm. want to make a larger amount than you, so you feel secure being with me. That's my role here. I don't mm. have a lot of masculine features. I don't have this, but if I can keep a system where you feel safe financially mm-hmm. with me. Oh. If you feel safe with me, then that's where I feel accomplished as a man. And it has nothing to do with the amount or anything. It's more the idea of security that I'm really, I want to project and I, I love projecting in a relationship with a girl. It's interesting. Mm. Point so, is but, it's, but it sounds like that it, it does come from insecurity. some place of insecurity. But that's yeah. more uh, culture. Because that, that's a Latino thing. Okay, no. that, and that's, how I was, that's, that's what I was also what I was thinking. Ties, sure. yeah, I, was, I was thinking more societal because that's what we're talking yeah, about. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's still exactly. pretty prevalent yeah, in America. No, 100%. Even, sure. even if, uh, yeah, even with all the, it is, how do you feel? Or how would you, I know the correct answer would be if my girlfriend or wife or partner, whoever, mm-hmm. made more money, if, you know, if, if it was enough part of her, it's, if they made uh, more money with me, more money than me, I would feel a little insecure in the sense of where, like, oh fuck, I need to start working out now. I need to like be perfect. All you have the to time. bring something to the table. Yeah, because it's like, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, I'm funny sometimes. All right, cool. That's well, nice. I, well, I do think you have to bring something to the table. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you establish in your relationship to bring to the yeah. table, but I do think societal wise, we are the ones who are supposed to bring more money. And stuff of that that's nature. That's the that's the pattern, the patriarchal for sure. Uh, and it's like, structure. What do they bring to the table nowadays? Because the new age woman isn't like just sitting in the in the house and cooking. Mm-hmm. She's also working, so it is a chance. She's probably not even cooking. She's expecting you to cook. So there and is a chance. Cool too. There there is a chance that she could make more money than you. More now than ever before. True, sure. true, true, true. So it's my like my girlfriend make more money than me. All right, but then yeah. okay, buy a lot. That's great. <laughs> But let's say... Can I get a dollar from her? You got to ask her, bro. Uh, <laughs> got we got to got <laughs> join account. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she so makes so much of the money, even if we did have a joint account, I'd have to ask her <laughs> if I could borrow, <laughs> if I could give you money. <laughs> like, hey, Chris need a ride. Can I give him $10? <laughs> <laughs> Five? Okay. She's like, Sorry, it's coming bro. out of your allowance. Yeah. We're fine. Do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Damn, you, you just take out of my pay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I made these hundred dollars. <laughs> I eat your Gucci every day. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lady. I need that money for drugs. That's what that's when I <laughs> <laughs> I need that money for hookers. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. I need those drugs so bad. I would literally I'm get the shake soon. <laughs> so I, think, I would literally start shaking without you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh God, I'm blacking out again. <laughs> so uh that that was that was interesting though. I the thing that I, I like that so much, but the thing that I, I wanted to talk about was the attractiveness to them, right? And I think when it comes them being women, mm-hmm, okay. all right, and and what they say is the most attractive thing. I yes. hypothesize that what you're gonna say, I'm going to feel a certain way about it because I think the list is lies. What interviews and some of this research, mm. people will answer in a way that's how they answer in a way that they think people want them to answer. Like I, I feel like on that list, it's going to be a sense of humor is going to be on that list that they find attractive, okay. which some people, I feel like they do, but I feel like a lot of times women will give that answer because they think that's the answer they're supposed to give because well, they feel like they feel like they possibly will be judged for saying a nigga with a six pack. Well, for this, it's, it's specific 
uh, to physical features. So okay. 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 They have to. Fair. They have to go physical. Then and everything this I one, said was wrong. The first one I just I I mean I guess I agree. It says a wider waist to hips ratio. Okay, I can see that. I always thought of them as like the same thing, so I'm I'm already lost. Because waist technically is like this. So it's like the hourglass figure, okay. so to speak, is what they're okay. saying. So men are sexist assholes. All right, see that. <laughs> Check one, the feminists were right. So women Check. want a, a higher, more waist than hips. Y- we want In men. Yeah. No, no, this is what we want in them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> was That's all I was like, how the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an hourglass at all. <laughs> like, like, was, I'm built like a brick. It, you are. <laughs> more of a center block with that color. Uh, the next one is a high voice. A high voice? That's what it says. It says, according to a study, it cited in a video, a high pitch of voice invokes youthfulness and signifies a small feminine body, both of which are attractive to men. I can Oh, damn it. I keep forgetting this for men. Okay, okay. okay my yeah, bad. Well, it's dudes looking at yeah. ladies. Okay. Yeah. We're dudes. Yeah, for a second, I got lost, Well, too. I, I thought we switched back to Wait, women's what? attractiveness. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Because we had, yeah. Okay. Okay. This us I'm there. and to them. Got you. Do you agree? Uh, weirdly enough, I love a bitch with a graggly voice. <laughs> if she sounds like B. Arthur, I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> She's like, why are you still dressed? Get naked. Show me your bean. And I'm like, yeah. That that shows mother issues. <laughs> you gotta do something. Her about voice, that. my mother's voice is high, weirdly enough. Uh, you, decades of uh, cigarettes, but she's still got a very high voice. Oh, Seriously? Yeah. What does oh, she man, do? She must, she must she must be like singer an alpha lady really mm-hmm. she's a singer that's why she why? sang I don't call her well fucking, silly goose you've been singing in church she ain't a hold singer. on a second that, that counts you just gave us the answer though at the same time you knew it clearly the singing is the reason her yeah. to her, her singing voice you know her voice is not right bad. but i think after decades of cigarettes she would not still have that birdie voice you you know what is I think you're just a negative Nancy. I, yeah, might be. I, yeah, yeah. I think I was right Chris. and you don't. No no I don't think that's wrong. You, you asked personally. I'm, I like. I'm a little disappointed that you would be so negative about your mom. Yeah, but you know you want to call. I her think she's a fine her, woman. Fine you ain't never met her. I'm sure. Uh, I bet you know what it is. <laughs> Before today I would think she must be an incredible person because she raised a great son. But now I don't know. I don't know anymore. I, I think he raised himself. Yeah, that's what I had to be. I don't think it's any doing of her. That's what it is. Now, yeah, you, you do feel uncomfortable now, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're a I hope you see this. So, yeah. hey. Oh, I'm a bad son. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that makes sense. A high boy. Yeah, sure. The next one, I, 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 I hate this one because I don't think us as men really care. And ironically enough, it says healthy hair. Yeah. Oh, I can see that being, it doesn't, you don't care at all. But when you, when you see someone with good hair, you're like, like healthy hair, not good hair. Healthy hair. No. You go, oh, whoa, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, mean, you can appreciate it, but none of us are really like, yeah. hair. Like, I don't know if you guys, you can have split ends. Your hair looks just fine to me. Oh, thank you so much, but they don't. But like, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if a lot of guys are oh, like, insulting. unless her hair is like matted or like actively gross. Yeah. Like, I don't think most men would care at all. No. Yeah, even. Not the one where we would put it on this list. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's it's be not honest. a feature. She can have bald patches. All over her head, right? And if she was like, let's hook up, I would be like, let's still go. Hook up. Yeah. Why are we not going to do this? Let's you want to get married? She's yes, a Wakanda warrior. I'm all about yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine with that. Yeah, a little checkerboard shit. shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead. We're going to knock chess. boots and then she's going to save me from Killmonger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. She's sweet. She cuddles. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I play with the, you know, I massage you. I play with the inside bumps. You know, the, I do like that. It's nice little map. The next one is Smiles. Which I think just generally people, yeah, like I don't want someone that's just walk- weirdly enough though. And me and Corey Tindall, who we've had on the podcast, we are big fans of resting bitch face. Oh, that's interesting. I find resting bitch face very attractive. Okay, but you, just, I think you probably uh. just are attracted to someone that's stern. Yeah, maybe. You like it for you probably like it. Goes back to the person. mother thing. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Whoa! But that's the whole thing with wrestling bitch faces. Oftentimes, and like it's not necessarily their personality. It's just they can't help how their face you forms. You know what wrestling bitch face really is? It's Nigga just, just pulled. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he just he, <laughs> mid sentence. He pulled out peanut M and M's. You know what your motherfucking problem is? Hold on. Let me get this real quick. The worst thing about him and lose like his. 
Like he's he's a professional at this shit. All right. Y'all yes. never <laughs> snuck food out your pocket. Before. Not like oh, no, so I'm, not so at I'm the, weird for having food in my pockets. Yes. And pulling it out of nowhere. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and not breaking stride. <laughs> you just two kept going. are so weird. It was so smooth. <laughs> It was like like passing a business card yeah. smooth. I forgot. <laughs> like I, this is me. <laughs> I put my hand down like this and I was like, oh Eminem's, you know what I mean? <laughs> he didn't even stop. He you couldn't even tell his brain was in two different places. Yeah, yeah. It was like and then I realized like, oh, this is too hot. It was too perfect. That's what it was. <laughs> That's, was attra- that, that's attractive. That's <laughs> attractive. Being coordinated. <laughs> Being coordinated and pulling out snacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that should be Shit. on this fucking list. The next one is less makeup. Eh. Yeah, I don't see. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Wearing red. I understand that one scientifically. If I'm blood, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, uh, the origins that, of right? a lot of makeup is that, you know, with blush and with red lipstick, the science behind it is you the face. male brain. <laughs> the male brain sees blush red and red lips as a sign of arousal. Yeah, I'm good, man. <laughs> yes, I appreciate that. Was that's that's the concept, the You're scientific concept fucks. behind you know red is that men right, see it as arousal now, and then will be aroused just based on you know red complexions. I can I can see I, mean, I can I see the arousal care. thing yeah. for sure because <laughs> red organ everybody. I think also red grabs your attention because of the. Uh, Sort of loud of a color. Yeah, it's a loud yeah. color, and so uh, I can see that being more attractive because it brings your attention. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. You immediately are locked into said right. person. Yeah. Are you rolling dice, nigga? What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> 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 um, Eminem, good boy. <laughs> the next one says dark strands. What? what? What does that mean? Hair. I, oh, I guess nah. that's what I take it as. Really enough. And it says. Uh, Gentlemen don't, it turns out, prefer blondes, according to a 2008 survey. Uh, 130 men and 112 women published in the Scandinavian Journal of Psychology. Yeah, well, <laughs> they, that's the legitimate journal of opinion. Yeah, but it's like, I'm not looking for them for yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it, your source? And they're like, uh, yeah, nah, we don't really fuck with blondes. But I don't think that's fair because... Aren't Scandinavians all naturally blonde? Yeah, like, yeah. So it's like, like, yeah, no, they're everyone probably bored here. Of, yeah, they're probably bored. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They just wanted to bring the confidence yeah. level of the whole country down. Exactly. Like, no one likes you. You bring up a great point, though, is how we can manipulate statistics and mathematics sure. to no. feed our political views. It's very easy to do that. Mm-hmm. We had in Scandinavia. It wasn't U.S.-based. So no. there are a lot of blondes there. They're kind of bored of it. They like darker hair. We're over here. We like blondes more because they have more darker hair people. No. You, you fuck Science. with blondes? Um... Not white blondes. We I like I like blonde hair on everyone else but white Whites? women. Huh. I do sometimes find blonde hair attractive <laughs> on white women when they have dark eyebrows. Let's take a picture of it. I like maybe it's the contrast. Take a picture of what? What you doing? Uh, <laughs> I forgot for a second that we're being recorded. Mm-hmm. I was like, let's take a picture of us. I was like, my stupid ass, there's a camera right there. <laughs> it's, it's fully on already. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> that breaks him. But <laughs> in the pocket, in stride. In stride. And yeah. ate them shits and everything. What's mm-hmm. going on? They were he good. didn't even mumble. delicious though, right? Yeah, was, oh, you're telling me not. Peanut dog? I've learned how to hide the chunk of quid in the corners of your mouth when you're a fat mm. guy, you know, how to talk with your mouth full at all times while keeping diction. Pretty good. Right. I gotta learn that. They say height. Who? Uh, too much, too little. Um, uh, and the N- University of New Wait. South Wales. These <laughs> 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 weird sources, man. <laughs> this is what it says. This is redbookmag.com. Okay. So they say uh, much more <laughs> ratio. <laughs> um, they like taller women. They aren't really r- into like runway. They like proportionately taller women. Oh wow! I like okay. tall women. But you're, what are you, 5'5", five five, right? Negro. Wow. <laughs> I'm just That's saying. fucked up. That's like the N-word to short people. Niggas? <laughs> <laughs> you short niggas. I'm a little over 5'9". In five these boots, I'm 5'10". You're 5'7". Uh, I met you. want to prove it? We can record one. us prove it right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, you know what? I would like to see that. Yes. Oh. It's not Does a anyone measure. second the motion? <laughs> no. Because uh. he, he might be right. Because <laughs> I am right, damn it. But... You like, you're short too. Yeah, yeah. I like you, tall women. You do? Yeah, hell yeah. It's great. 
you really did not break stride. And <laughs> like, he really it didn't. I was li- I was listening intently to see if I was gonna tell that there was something in his mouth, nope. and like with. Like, I was like, take out my bias that I actually know. And I'm like, shit, I can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> now I don't know how often he talks to me with things. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Uh, it's that just that like, happens, yo. Heavy See? Dude, <laughs> heavy dudes got food in their mouths a lot. I don't he understand nine, what the problem is here. He has nine M&Ms in his mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, next, yeah, I like a tall lady. Next one, I think, is dumb because I've never looked at this. But they say arm length. That's attractive. Arm length? <laughs> What? If I'm trying to build a basketball team, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More or less. <laughs> they uh, long legs weren't shown, weren't shown to be feature men seek out, but weren't shown to be a feature that men seek so out, men. but long arms were. Huh. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. With Jessica Biel with her long arms, it's super hot. It's weird. Yeah. So, and it's they like say. my brain's interpreting it somehow. It's like, I know in my head it's not real, but. My brain sees and goes, I fucked that. Yeah, we fuck that. And it says, Interesting. upper arm girth played a role too. Girth? So That's like the, the, the wing? Oh, yeah. duh. I, fuck, I fucks with the wing. She can make potato salad. She got that wing. She cook. I love the wing. I mean, bitch gonna fly away on you. <laughs> <laughs> she get mad at you and fuck this shit. <laughs> I can't wait for this podcast to ruin our careers. <laughs> the next one, now we're getting to this. Now we're getting to where we're at. Uh, big boobs. Boobs. I don't even think we need you to go. like them fine. I don't even think we need to go any further. What do you like about boobs so much? Oh, they're super cool. I feel yeah. like they're safe. You know what it is? They're yeah. just comfortable like pillows. I think it's head. like a thing where like you're not supposed to see them. Yeah. It's, it's something beautiful about like a, a side boob. Like, yeah. Like peeking at it. Oh. They're covered up all like. For me? <laughs> like that's, yeah. I, I you have to earn it. them. Yeah. I like. I even like long boobs. I appreciate them. It could be also just sign like, of a long day, sign of a hard worker. <laughs> <laughs> long, okay, well, no. how, you, how you doing today, girl? Uh, my titties uh, down in my navel. All right. Well, oh, <laughs> not involved in this oh. combo. <laughs> That's good, right there. I like that. Do you, whoa, whoa, was it back though? <laughs> no, I want to hear it. Well, he said, he said long boobs were a sign of a long day. And so I was like, ah, <laughs> art. That is comedic art right there. Just trying to be- Strap in, fellas. <laughs> we got Chris Ryder coming through here. Yeah, boy. That was mine, Nick. Sorry. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, The next so one. Boobs. Is. Uh, Butt thighs. Gam. This is the last one. <laughs> this is the last one. And I hate this one. Which one? It says overall grooming. Okay. I hate this one what because I mean? feel. I mean, it I, all goes without saying. Yeah, it's like uh, self care, being healthy and stuff, and it's like yeah, like not stinking. I, I wonder if they oh, mean. Okay. Yeah, I, I wonder because it's it doesn't quite say, but I wonder if they mean like doing their nails and like mm. doing like that kind oh, of in a more sexist way, where it's like I thought it was no. uh, sh- b- shaving body hair and stuff of oh. that nature too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder. Which, I mean, on the I, record, who the fuck cares if someone has hair on their? Yeah, fucking, I, I don't, honestly, I don't fuck. I don't fuck the couple Chewbacca's in this street. Yeah, <laughs> <All right. laughs> like we're li- well, the, the thing with like with beauty standards is that it's not what men project onto women. A lot of times, it's what, it's what the beauty industry and a lot of women project onto women. Like yes. honestly, men don't give a shit about leg hair. We've said it so many times. Well. Too much is too much. Oh god, but that's anybody. If you have well, yeah. a guy that's right. fucking from Detroit, right? Yeah. There are like extremes. a munchie cheese. Yo, Detroit yeah. people are hairy. I'm not sure if you know. That's Detroit a fact people? I lie about. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I ain't never been to Detroit. So <laughs> like, I was like, in my head, okay. I was just. I guess I'll just note that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Detroit people, Harry. If ever I'm gonna buy razors, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, they're yeah. always there. I'm gonna see Harry. Got like, what are you from Detroit? And he's yeah, like, what? <laughs> from he's Albany? Like, ah, what is you it? got me. Uh, I am Detroit. From Albuquerque, man. <laughs> we're so hairy over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're known for. That's a secret. Like, as soon as you figure that out, you're out of the matrix. Right. <laughs> like, holy shit! Oh fuck, Detroit. <laughs> I know oh. it now. <laughs> uh, what? So, bottom line, does any of these things? that were mentioned would you put these in your top 11 or let's let's shorten it what's your top three sexy physical features of a woman uh i like boobs companionship okay. yeah. <laughs> the ability uh, to do this with M&Ms, <laughs> yeah. to present sharing yeah <laughs> which is boobs you can, lie, you can hide a lot of things in bras yo are we talking you, physical only right physical, physical. Only. um i like i'm a boob i like boobs and butt I've, I've gotten in this debate with friends before. I consider myself a face man. 
And he oh, told me I can't be okay. a face man because every guy is a face man. And I was like, hold on. I, I like specific friend. facial characteristics. No, okay. I like RBF. Nice. What's that? Rest and bitch, bitch face. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. When girls have green eyes, I find that particularly attractive. Okay, nice. All right. I like a girl, weirdly enough, with a dimple chin. Okay, wow. That's not weird Which at all. on a dude... But it's a butt chin. It looks weird. You, you have like ass Superman on your chin, so but like Alicia Cuthbert has a dimple chin. So does and, and Demi Lovato do. Oh, I find I it very attractive. Sure. What, what do you want to? Sometimes do with I find a scar <laughs> on a woman's face very attractive. I think Tina Fey is so much more Nigga, prettier. You fucking pirates! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like, who the fuck Omar are you from the Wire is so sexy. <laughs> like who the fuck are you? Fucking? Yeah. I don't <laughs> know. What kind of women people? are you dating <laughs> or hooking and up with? No one I've dated actually has any of those physical. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Your current girlfriend doesn't have a scar on her face. No, I didn't see your exes but there so are bad. Certain <laughs> facial characteristics I find attractive. You that's like dope. I mean, you like chicks that been in bar fights. <laughs> like that's, that's good. That shows like they, they built character. Oh, this is, I can actually <laughs> comment. Back to your arm. <laughs> back to long arms. <laughs> good I can actually comment on this for a second. The 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 scar thing is a sign of attraction because it showed it's our mammal bullshit brain. But they survived an attack exactly. or something. Yeah. yeah, it shows a certain level of strength. Where it's supposed to seem like a negative thing, but it's actually kind of a positive. I find Tina Fey's scar very it's attractive. Really hot. If you think about it, you're like, wow, she's survived yeah. a fucking. Mm-hmm. She's a she's a woman. She couldn't be more than 120 pounds. Yeah. Uh, and then she survived this attack. You know, what I mean? and she's like, wow, okay. My, my you got fighting you. Yeah. But my thing is, are are like the lions on the pride being like, look at this limping bitch. Like, yeah, they're probably like, we're gonna eat her. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> she, like, she can't run. No, yeah. once they heal, once they heal up. The scar is like a badge of like fuck off because I, I was strong enough to take yeah. a I took wound. I took down fucking George the Jungle and I still here. made it through here. What are you gonna do? Yeah. You think you can take me down? That's Probably you're right. weaker now. <laughs> like, <laughs> you hear about Brenda? She got kicked in the chest by a buffalo. Bitch still standing. Yeah. Oh wow. Let me go just kick yeah. her one more that, time. That's a boob. Yeah. <laughs> She's the alpha male now. Yeah. <laughs> she, she she runs, runs pride. Somehow she grew a fucking name. <laughs> <Yeah, she grew laughs> <a man. laughs> <laughs> it's different. <laughs> uh, I think for me, I like ass. I like boobs. I like ass and boobs. I like games. Nice. I like. I don't know, man. I, I it's so hard to pick, man. I like, I like thighs. His penis. I like. I like what everything. You say? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> say? Do you like penis? <laughs> I like that. I don't like, 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 penis. like. Oh, like, oh <laughs> man, I like balls. I like. <laughs> I try to say it so low as it would. And, <laughs> and, and I, I was just gonna go over it. Yeah, was, <laughs> that's a, that's a treat for the fans over there. <laughs> I said something this was when Ryder was talking too. So. <laughs> oh damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I have to listen back and see what I agree. Yeah, like, I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait, no, I don't suck dick. I don't suck dick. <laughs> I had you over here like, nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is it about that time? It's no. about that time. So uh, I'll give you mine. Well, give me his. Don't know why you handed it to me like that. <laughs> I will hand you to that. Daniel, unlock your phone, please. Oh, it's open. Oh, it's open? Oh, what is... Another non-Apple user. What the hell is God that phone? God damn it. That phone looks dumb. Is that what they give I you? I mean, I didn't even go into the searches, and he Googled how to murder friends in their homes. Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must in be. Their, in their apartments. <laughs> well, that was weird that that's there. Anyway. How did you get away with that? <laughs> to... uh, that's what I did do that uh, like two minutes ago. Okay. So I was just like, <laughs> like, Still doesn't. Help at all? No. <laughs> you, still, you still you still looked it up, dude. It's, bother to the funny reveal. Oh, there's no <laughs> cameraman on this side of the camera. I'm a, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just happy this isn't my home, so it doesn't <laughs> count. That's fair. Uh, Chris, I was thinking something funny. I was like, that'd be funny, right? To <laughs> scare my friend into the fact that I'm gonna murder him. Who wouldn't laugh at that? The person that's about to be murdered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many sexual positions are there, Chris Baysmore? <laughs> I think it's about four, and we just do variations. Okay, that makes okay. sense. That's because you got from the back, you got missionary, you got riding uh, cowgirl, then reverse cowgirl, sideways, and then S- every sideways th- just laying down, <laughs> lazy fucking, and then literally, at, yeah, lazy fucking is pretty good, and literally everything is a variation. Put your leg up, that counts as a different position. Yeah, you know I mean, shimmy a little lower, that's a different position. Yeah. So. So I would say there's five. How about you guys? Uh, I don't. I think there's five basic ones. Well, the internet tell you, like forty six. What really? Oh, like a Kuma ones? Sutra thing? Yeah, like they was doing some weird uh. shit. It was one dude, like he was living the dream. He had a chick. He was hitting from the back, and then he had another one in his face, 
And I was like, that's not a normal position. That's not just something I could bring home to my wife and be like, here you go. Yeah, yeah. We're doing this one tonight. So Daniel Googled cryptocurrency. Nice. As, he, as he should. And then BMI calculator. Okay, well, that's a different reason. And then, yeah, and that's then two I, things. I read this as the bird, but I just read, did Turkey genocide? <laughs> <laughs> what? So I just thought about the bird first. No. He must mean the country. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're talking about, I was looking up information on the Turkish genocide. Of uh, of the peoples before. He also Googled OnlyFans. Just want to point that out. My man. I did Google Good that. Job. I hope it doesn't show the times. Cause that's, that'd be very telling. But he also Googled Dogecoin a lot. Yeah. I was doing, I'm doing research on it for that thing. I, I told you. Did you make money on Dogecoin? Uh, I have... I have no comment on that. At one point, <laughs> he did just Google money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baby, you know, like, you know how financial advisors do, baby. I'm going to just point this out real quick, and I'm going to show you that he has a lot of images of Big Bird. Okay, hold on. There's, <laughs> there's a, Wait. Hold on. Like, hold on. A butt, like in a row. No, no, no. There's a specific perverted reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> there's a specific <laughs> thing. I'm a pervert, yeah, okay? Yeah. You don't get it. I have right? a bird fetish. I have sex with a big bird costume on. <laughs> I'm a furry. It's not what you think. I jerk off onto it. Hilarious. Why did you tell all these at 3 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a fucking weirdo. Oh, I my see. God. You Googled Proverbs 3 verse 9. And Proverbs 13, verse 3. I know them both by right heart. Right after you had Googled Osama bin Laden age. Okay. But go ahead. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold, I can explain that. That's for the Osama bin Laden joke I wrote. Okay. Oh, fair uh, enough. Yeah, All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I had to, I looked Super his, topical. Hold on. I looked up, <laughs> I looked up his age. <laughs> he was 58. And that means that he didn't do 9-11 until he was 44. Never stop hustling. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get his start till he was in his 40s, yeah, right? Bro. Him and Leslie Jones, was, they got his, started late. It when he was 44. Oh, him dog. and Morgan Freeman. That's Morgan how it Morgan happens Freeman. sometimes. It happens like that yeah. sometimes. That was his big break. What are those proverbs? Uh, we're Oh, damn. I was just in church about this. Uh, Thou shall. <sighs> Ezekiel, I think it's the... Uh, I know these by heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, ain't, that, <laughs> ain't that what he's saying? Uh, I was just kidding. You know yeah, that. I took this Come away on. from you, but yeah, man, I mean, I forgot. Anyway, you also just googled I Kellyanne know. Conway. You did too, nigga. I did not Google <laughs> Kellyanne Conway. Oh god. Real quick, yeah. you uh, looked up college remedial tests. Yeah. Are you trying to go to college? No, or? no, no. I just wanted to know if I could still pass it. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I still got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't still got it. <laughs> Chris, do Super Bowl halftime performers get paid? Nope. They do not. Correct. <laughs> they do not. Wait, wait, wait. When, when people do the halftime show, they don't get paid. Bullshit. They nah. get nada. It's basically because they're considering it as a huge ad Promo, for you. Yeah. You get to perform in front of 100 million Americans for 30 minutes. Oh, that is 15, true. 15, but granted. Yeah, that's so. basically the, this uh, super duper. Right. But they cover all the other expenses. So literally. Uh, you just don't get paid year. for your work. Yeah. Right. Last Talk year's, about a typical. Right. Last year's thing, I think chart the uh, Shakira and J Lo, J -Lo they cost them thirteen million <laughs> production. Production, right? Yeah, and paying, oh. yeah, but that's like and paying all the other people. <laughs> that's like an eighth of what they get from Pepsi to do their ad. Like, yeah, yeah, that's a drop in the bucket for them. Oh, true, I'm not right. saying this. I didn't think of it either. It's a lot because they probably signed them yeah. contracts too. What's weird is that like J Lo is that like she you know she's in the twilight of her career. It's not like she could use a huge, but it wasn't like she was dropping an album the next month. For like the she promotion, was, she, where she, like Bruno Mars got a huge bump after he did the of, halftime Super Bowl show. By the way, she came back before the Super Bowl. Like they gave her the halftime show because mm. she was hot because of Hustlers. Exactly. Right. I mean, I mean, what was before Hustlers? It was something else too. Like she just started incrementing coming. Back I think she had just everything. gotten her uh, her residency in Vegas. That's uh, probably what it was. Yeah. So quick, brief, brief thing. It's a little ch chain of events. I just just curiosity. Mm -hmm. He goes <laughs> DMT. Then DMT side effects. <laughs> then he looks up Acts 4, BibleGateway.com, <laughs> Isaiah 43, and AGT uh, auditions. So we're... I got to focus on my career. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get in there and start researching roles before I even get them. <laughs> I'm the, I know the, the scriptures and shit now. And th then before that, he just searched Russia. <laughs> just, just Google. You gotta, just so I got to keep an eye on those assholes. <laughs> Thank you. They're not what are you doing, Putin? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be doing that shit no more. <laughs> to be fair, he's not, it's not that far from Alaska. <laughs> what do you think Putin's friends call him? 
Poot. Vlad? It's not Vlad. I know no. for a fact it's Poot-ster? not a Vlad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of like... like I feel like Russia a, doesn't do a, nicknames. Like Pootie? you do... Pootie Tang or something? <laughs> Pootie Tang. <laughs> they call him Sadate. <laughs> I'm going to sign your penny sir. on the running can. <laughs> <laughs> no, that no. Give him your socials. Uh, what? Oh, wait, what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, I guess I'm going to start TikTok soon. Uh, oh, I also like naming the weird off ones that I never heard about. Yeah. I'm on stereo. I'm on that one. Uh, I'm on I'm MySpace. On, got back on yeah, MySpace. Yeah, you're back on MySpace. Mm-hmm. I'm really thinking it's going to uh, come back. Bringing Vine back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my Snapchat is. You can check out my videos on CISO. I'm on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then Daniel J. Parafan. I always put myself under that name. Parafan is spelled P E R A F A N. There we go. It's spelled exactly like paraffin. Yeah. Well, sometimes the E, when you're just yeah, trying to find someone. Yeah. Well, they always think it's an I in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you for being on the show. Dope. And on that note, thanks for listening. Guys. Peace out. Thanks for having me.